Morning all, out with RB today and Eclipse Motorcycles and we're out on this Diablo 125 Euro 5 um, which is going to have a walk around the bike and you may notice Lexmoto have made a rear rack for these get a top box on, 32 litre so, as always for the customer the obligatory ride test, they've got about a mile on it at the moment what I'm also going to be doing this morning you may notice it is going to jump to a split screen we have as normal on the side of the helmet my drift ghost so i've got a ghost s really old one but it does the job and just set this mirror up a little bit more there we go so drift ghost on the side of the helmet and down the center now GoPro 10 also Rode wireless mic and the wireless mic clips onto my lapel a little bit of velcro in the front of the helmet and my mic just tucked in so very very easy just pull the velcro off every time I get off put the uh, Rode wireless connector back in my pocket job done now the mic I'm using is a purple panda with what they call a dead cat on it <laughs> a little fairy mic but they call it a dead cat very very easy just to plug into that road do the set the setup was pretty easy on the the roads plugged them in went to a uh, road central set all the app up it automatically updates the helmets via USB to a USB type C so that was all done and obviously the drift is in my other cheek pad buried in the side with its little f um, foamy cover on it so we're going to do an audio comparison using the Rode wireless and the drift but at the bottom of the screen it will tell you exactly what uh, what we're running so I'm going to flip between the audios on these and you'll hear the difference between a drift ghost running a standard mic with a little bit of uh, foam over it, foam cover, compared to the Rode wireless mic, which has got a dead cat and a purple panda mic. Now obviously GoPro 10 on the front, hopefully I've got this adjusted right, and uh, running an LS2 helmet, I was going to put the GoPro mount round the side, but obviously it got right in the way. I found a company called Chin Mounts, uh, and if you just type in Chin Mounts, um, just put Chin Mounts in. Their company normally pops up at the top, but I went to them. They're in Canada, and I ordered the LS2 mounting for the Valiant, the Valiant 2. So chin mount for a Valiant 2 comes with all the connectors, all the clips, and your GoPro just literally slides straight into it. So we'll see how we get on with the comparison. Now, the Lexmoto Diablo is a little bit more money than what you would expect to pay for the Titan but gorgeous little bike and obviously the styling is a little bit different from the Titan you get a little bit more for a little bit more bang for the buck but once run in absolutely fine now we've had a lot of people obviously saying on the pages oh yes um, I'm looking at buying a Titan I'm looking at buying a Diablo and then you get all the haters come on I wouldn't touch a Chinese bike with a barge pole and Chinese bikes are fine if you service them maintain them and look after them and if you don't know what you're doing don't go messing hence why we're getting a lot of people phoning up saying my bike's not running okay what have you tried to do well I went down did, did you read the handbook no I just put fuel in it and I ride it okay nine times out of ten you put E10 fuel in it E10 does not get on well with bikes E5 every time super unleaded so that is the best thing for it but the other thing to do is obviously if you don't know how to service a bike and you want to have a go yourself watch a few videos don't just go at it a guy the other day phoned out I had my mate round he changed the spark plug and uh, he changed the oil Okay, so what's the problem? It don't work now. Nine times out of ten, he's overfilled it with oil. 
And the other thing was, um, did you read your spark plug code? No, has it got a code on the side of the spark? Oh, we just went down in Halfords and looked at one that was the same length and the same width. And uh, simple reason being, it put the wrong spark plug in. All spark plugs are coded for that reason. So if it's a Titan, it's going to be something like a C7HSA. Compared to, uh, if you've got a KTM or you've got a big bike, you're going to be looking at uh, what they call an Elmar, which is uh, an Iridium Platinum plug. So uh, KTMs have a slightly different plug. And if you happen to be a Kawasaki, then they are horrendous amount of money. You're looking about £36 per plug for a Kawasaki if you've got the Platinum Iridiums. But you can put the standard spark plugs in them. And then something like a DPRA E9. And you can go EIA9, which is the Iridium version. So it's just handy when you know what your plugs are. Uh, and oh, lo and behold, it's starting to rain. It's going to be the first time I get the uh, the GoPro wet. A little bit of spitting going on. Let's check the camera. It's not dirty. No, we're all good. And that is running well. So, let's say, as we're doing the ride, we're splitting between two different audios, just so you can compare the drift audio to the GoPro audio. squeeze in here so you get to try out try two lots of brakes that is all good 4.2 miles on the bike away we go again so just comparing drift audio to GoPro audio now obviously I've been drift for very very many years and uh, we had the Insta we had a huge issue with the Insta I'm not using that very much now because it's crap wouldn't touch Insta with a barge pole. Customer service is awful. And then, obviously, we went to uh, the advice of a few people. And the man that's no <laughs> the man that's responsible for me spending over two grand this month, Andy GSA Tractor at Cyber GTR, went and spent six hundred pound on a drone so I could get some drone footage when I'm out on the bike. And then, obviously, uh, look at a new camera. Simon said, "Go drift. Go the new drift." Andy went, try the GoPro 10, you won't be disappointed. So, on a whim, had a bit of yeah, YouTube money left in my account, and I went and bought the GoPro 10 Black, so Hero Black 10, I think that's what they call it. And he said to me, he said, you need the Media Mod? That's another 90 quid. Oh, God, more money. Went and bought the Media Mod. Plugs in, now, the only thing I don't like about the GoPro, to change the battery, you've got to unclip the Media Mod, take the GoPro out, put it all back together, but it's easily done, you know, it takes you a minute. So that's the only down thing, you know, I'd like the battery port to be the other side with the door, but needs must, job done. Took it down super slice, tried it out, and the quality of that GoPro footage compared to my drift, it was like, wow. And I was only shooting in obviously 2.7K. For the purposes of YouTube, it's pointless uploading in 4K because YouTube doesn't support 4K at the moment. I think the max it does is uh, 1080p or something stupid like that, but he said, do uh, 2.7 and run it at 60 frames a second, so it's the slow-mo mode. If you're getting the wireless mics, and I went, why is that? He said, you need to get the wireless mics. It's so much easier, so more convenient, and it clips onto your hot shoe. Okay, another £330, I think, I paid for that, along with the Purple Panda. So more expense so these uh, Rode wireless mics easy to set up just clips onto the hot shoe with the receiver transmitter just clip on your shirt job done nice and easy so we'll see what happens on that but compare that with the drift audio oh dear <laughs> I bet that's going to pick up the cough as well so last couple of miles and then we're back to the garage and have a cup of coffee. But Diablo's running fine as you would expect it to do. Last thing to do, quick bulk check and spanner check. And put my plates on it. So happy, happy days. All good there. So it's Friday, live stream tonight. 
and uh, Lockwood and Zed Head have been out on their bikes. Not many people shooting video at the moment because everybody's just overwhelmed with work. Simon's on the picket line, so he's going to probably have some video of him down on the picket line. And go support your postie, they do a lot. All weathers. And you think for the price of a stamp or whatever it is, 30 feet, you're getting your letter sent to the other end of the country. You try delivering that in a car. Or using uh, every, uh, every parcel goes amiss or every parcel gets destroyed. I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. Uh, they used to be, I believe, Hermes. Oh, yes, Hermes, the awful company. How can we better our service? Easy. Change your name. So, final thing to do is the hill climb. Just up the hill, just to see what she's like at 45 mile an hour, ticking over nicely. Quarter to ten. I need to be back at the garage by ten o'clock, because that is when my next job is in. And let's get a good look around the countryside, see what the GoPro footage looks like. Oh, Tesla. It's going to be quick off the mark then. One for Simon. Anybody got any fuel to set light to this thing? Right, so we're away on the hill climb. Nice steady 45 up the hill and see what happens. Now the gauge on this outside is in K's. Inside in miles an hour which is a pain in the bum. As I always say with my advice, a little bit of Tipex on the outside of the screen here and just mark 30, 40 and 50 and it'll make it very, very easy for you to see what speed you're going at just by looking down but you normally know that 70k is around about 43 mile an hour. So I tend to go off the, the 50, the 70 I mean, obviously, max speed is going to be the 80, 50 mile an hour. These bikes are good for that 55, 60 mile an hour, but I'd always say sit your bike between 50 and 55. Save the engine. You know, what's an extra 10 minutes ride to work if your bike is going to live for another 10,000 miles? If you can absolutely rag one of these to death, then you're not going to stand a hope in hell of it lasting you. Uh, which is what most 17 and 18 year olds do, they want to fly around be the fastest biker you can, if you want to be fast go and do your mod 1, mod 2 or do a DAS and get yourself a big bike and talking of big bikes, a lot down at the garage so if you want a big bike, hop down, see the boys at Eclipse Motorcycles go and have a look at the video we did yesterday, I managed to uh, do a set of tyres I'm doing a lot of tyres at the moment, a lot of people coming in for, oh can you another set of tyres uh, recommendation to a guy yesterday, SV650, set of tyres on his bike, scrubbed them all in. And we stuck a set of Metzler S22s on those. Gorgeous tyre they are. Great for on the road, but if you're going to be uh, a little bit of a knee downer or you want to ride a bit faster, them S22s have got lovely soft edges for using up those chicken strips. So great idea. we go in on the rear brake down the other side hill climb done hello Arby's village I feel a cup of coffee are calling so weekend run out this weekend is going to probably be super sausage again because I've got a lot to do Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon going to try and get the uh, lean-to built at the side of the house so GTR can now come home with me rather than be stuck at the garage. Let the cars clear before I come out, there we go. It's all about watching your mirrors. A nice steady 45 down the hill. Ew. Red kites about everywhere. There's a lot of them up in Milton Keynes at the moment, a hell of a lot of red kites. So, while we're heading back, it's just a couple of uh, quick catch-ups. Carl Dutz has uh, obviously got a shiner when he poked himself in the eye. Poor old Carl. 
he's got his uh, ride outs he's done a few more ride outs Lockwood's done a great one on the VFR just love that bike absolutely love that bike Z head's been out on the uh, the big ZZR and obviously he's absolutely inundated so uh, he's not had a chance to get out burning gas hauling ass Gareth's got himself a new bike I believe Stevie military biker coalition crew live stream this weekend be good to catch up with Stevie see what the boys are up to oh uh, Roland Keith he's down in Oz he's always in a live stream late at night so go and catch up with Roland and the boys from down under and obviously all my usuals rhythmic biker He's been out, uh, done a few videos, he's trying to get himself to 600, so if you haven't subscribed to Rhythmic Biker, go and uh, jump on his channel, Uncle Red, or The Uncle Red, and he's Vulcan at a 650 jelly bean. And check that one out, Simon GTR 1400, and the GSA Tractor. My mate that likes to give me advice and make me spend money. But thanks Andy, yeah, great advice, we shall see what this footage comes out like. Uh, Obviously, once we've done the edit and we've checked out the audio and compared the drift to the Ghost, is the drift now going to be coming off the side of the helmet and stay with GoPro? Or, I've still got another five days before I have to return this or pay for it in full. Well, I have paid for it in full, but I can. I've got 14 days, what they call 14 day right to reject if you don't like it. So they basically said, if you don't like it after 14 days, Send it back, we'll give you a full refund. What company would do that? Well done, GoPro. Can't fault them, you know. And uh, I needed some technical advice, Jesse. I went to do the cloud. They do a thing, cloud backup. It's only 24 quid a year for the first year. And they do the insurance. Basically, if you bust your GoPro or drop it, they'll give you a new one. Blimey, this is good. So if you get a fault with the camera, they'll replace it, give you another one. All for $24.99 a year. I've subscribed to that and uh, done the first payment. It failed. Took the money out of my Google Pay, but I couldn't get my cloud. So I phoned GoPro yesterday. Don't worry. We'll give you a full refund. Oh, okay. Do I need to subscribe again? Yeah, but don't worry about it. Because all the hassle you've had coming back with some forwards to GoPro, we're giving you the first year for free. What? Yeah, don't worry. $24.99 cloud service. We've given it you for free. Do us a review on the GoPro, which is what I am doing today. I should be doing some more reviews. If this is good and I get the footage back and obviously post edit, we'll see what this is like. If it's any good, I might be ordering a second one just to put on the uh, side of the bike so I can get some different shots. But a lot of people said the 8s, 9s and the 10s are exceptional bits of kit we shall see as always though like subscribe follow us on all the medias tiktok instagram youtube facebook you name it i'm on it all the social media platforms they'll all pop up in the windows uh, if you enjoyed the video like subscribe share comment all the obligatories live streams on the friday night don't forget 8 p.m with rb 10 o'clock with simon gtr 1400 but from rb and the guys at eclipse Test ride for customer on Alexmodo Diablo. As always, be well, ride safe, and it's a big goodbye from me. <laughs>